Recording in progress. Well, hello and welcome to another riveting episode of Absolutely Positively. I am your host. I'm your girl, Denny K. And it is my pleasure to be with you today. I have a great one for you, but let me stop here and say thank you so much uh, for being here with me today as we go through another forum uh, and how we do things here. But uh, as we go through the list, the checklist of IEM, inspiration, encouragement, and motivation, because that's what we do here. We create this forum so you can operate in your calling that something that is said, something that is done will spark you, inspire you, and help you live out to be the best you that God has called you to be. So without further ado, let's jump right in. As you know, because you've been rocking with me, I know you have. I see you liking the post. I see you sending in your quotes. But if you've been rocking with me, you know the format here. How we create the IEM <laughs> is by using motivational quotes. And those quotes get fleshed out. So that one thing that is said or done will help you just, you know, Get a, get a spark, get your interest going, inspire you to greatness. So without further ado, you already know what we do here. Let's get into our quote. So I'm going to reach into my special jar, my absolutely positively jar, and I'm going to reach, uh, read you a wonderful quote that I found. It's not my favorite. Well, not all of them are my favorite, but this one comes to us from Peter Stropel. And I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Stropel, Stropel. I've seen him um, in different forums, but this is a wonderful thought provoking person who does a lot of things with uh, disability um, and those that are, um, are in need. But he came up with this quote and I thought it was absolutely wonderful because I really believe in this. I feel like it's out of this world. <laughs> so he says, legacy is not leaving something for people is leaving something in people. Again, legacy is not leaving something for people. It's leaving something in people. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Um, so where do we want to start? Legacy is the reason why I do what I do. Um, I really believe that it is so important to leave something behind for the next generation. That's really what this world is about. And that's why I have the background. You see my background. I really feel like this is what this world is about, that each one of us has an obligation um, to and a duty to leave something for the people uh, um, to be able to stand on your shoulders and have that foundation for whatever they do. Everything that we have now is based on legacy. Everything that we have now is based on things that people have left behind, whether it's a memento, whether it's a, a recipe, whether it is um, just a quote. <laughs> People leave things behind because they want to, to make a difference um, in your life. So that way you can keep that seed growing um, and flourishing. So I really love uh, the simplicity of legacy because it can be just anything. It can be grand or it can be small, but we have an obligation, I feel, to be able to do that. If you have kids, um, that's a big one. You know, most people try to leave legacy for kids, but what if you don't have kids? What if you don't have kids? Um, who can you touch? Who can you reach? Who can you, um, pass for, pass, uh, something down and, and, and push that forward is what I mean to say. Um, and I think that it doesn't always have to be children. It could just be who you touch. It could be 
an older person to a younger person or a younger person to an older person, leaving something behind, right? But Peter Stropel says it's not about that per se, a something, it's about leaving it in people. And I think that that's so wonderful because it's everlasting when you leave it in someone that that seed will grow, flourish and blossom. So beyond a recipe, um, beyond um, that memento uh, that uh, you want them to always be able to cherish, leave it inside them, do something, say something, be something for them to be able to push it to the next level, to the next generation and keep that going. I can think of so many things that are inside me that I get to push um, onto my uh, kids or people that I touch. One of the thing is being a light, trying to be a light to others so therefore they can be a light going forward. That's a legacy, this, this, this forum, is a legacy that hopefully I will leave something in you that you will pass on. Well, let me tell you what Danny K said, or let me tell you this quote by Martin Luther King. Let me tell you this quote by Muhammad Ali that she said, and that it's in you that it struck you so much that you wanted to push it forward and tell somebody. And then that person tells somebody and that person tells somebody. I love just the word of mouth, but this is kind of what that is, is if you leave it in them, if you make a great enough impression, they will pass it on generation to generation. Another thing uh, uh, that I love about legacy is words. I was impacted by words and oh my goodness, uh, my grandmother who raised me, um, I talk about her a lot, but my grandmother that raised me, um, she was a big, huge, huge lover of words. She was a teacher. And one of the things I would have to do, um, which I, you know, I've told you before that I love words and what they mean and how they flow together. Um, but one of the projects that she would have me do in the summers would learn a new word and put that in my um vocabulary so I could have a new word and just really expand or expound on in any given subject with a new word. But the legacy part of what has been left in me, I am trying to leave into others. All of my kids love words. All of my kids love words. They will come up to me and say words that I didn't even know they knew. I mean, from the five-year-old all the way up. I mean, they love words. And so that's a legacy. So when I'm gone, I hope that they also pass that along about words. Another one is comic books, uh, uh, comic book heroes, characters. Um, that was passed down to me. And now I'm passing that down to my children. But it's something within them that love for all things superhero, not just about uh, the costumes, but what they represent and how you can align yourself with justice, uh, equality, unity, doing the right thing, you know, being good and, and trying to fight evil. That's, that's a basic premise uh, that they follow as well, which I love. And so I think we have an obligation, again, to do that. What can you do that will leave a legacy? in someone, what can you say? What can you do? What can you promote? What can you, I, I wanna charge you today. I want to charge you today to find something that you can um, leave in someone that will be a lasting um, thing for years to come. There are so many, um, wonderful leaders of our time. I mentioned Martin Luther King or Reverend King. Um, he definitely has left a legacy. His kids are doing it. The whole nation is doing it, you know, especially on the observance of his birthday. But so many people have that, um, that those principles that he left for us um, within them and they're pushing it forward. So many nonprofits, so many um, companies and organizations that are doing good, but what can you do on a smaller level that's going to leave uh, something in someone that they can 
pass on forever. How will they say your name? Insert your name here, left a legacy in me because they did something kind for me today. Um, put your name here, did something uh, that really blew my mind. And so therefore I'm gonna pay it for to the next person. My last story of how I want to break it down, and you hear this a lot, paying it for, because that, that's what I really kind of feel like this quote kind of aligns with, um, but where somebody paid for my meal in a fast food line, and I did it um, as well. And so um, that really struck me. But what I wanted to do is after that was done, I went back and I saw uh, that same person in the drive through And I asked them, how many people, do you remember how many people were blessed? And she said, eight. And I was blown away. But I, that one little gesture, eight, seven other people were blessed. Pay it forward, pay it forward. Well, of course, they had to stop. But I thought that was beautiful. And that was just a gesture financially or, you know, blessing someone with money, the next person, their meal. But what can you do that will leave an impression on the inside of someone that they will want to uh, keep going on and on with it. So leave a legacy. You can leave a legacy in any kind of way. Um, so I just love that Peter Strobel. Look him up. He's doing some good things. Um, that they're calling him uh, uh, a father of you know ideas and thoughts and and doing good and helping others, but. Again, I, I want you to find your own legacy and how you can push it forward to the next person, but by leaving something in someone that that will grow and flourish into just this magnificent thing. And it's not really about the credit, but it is about doing something so good for someone that it blesses you. That's what I want to say, leaving a legacy that it blesses you uh, for years and years to come. And, and maybe your name, uh, will be on a quote or or a thing that you did or a tree or, or or whatever. But I charge you to do that. Your life will be better because of it. And when you inspire, when you encourage, and you motivate someone in in this way, and in, in, in by leaving a legacy, you are doing what you're called to be. Because I really feel like that's what God uh, wanted us to do: to not only unite but reach one, teach one. And, and, and really just have this loving, wonderful hands uh, reaching across the world, as we say United States, but the world because of what we have done for one another. So anyway, so hopefully, hopefully um, that gave you a little spark to start leaving a legacy and send it in. I would love to find out how you're leaving a mark and how you are leaving something inside of someone. And remember, he says legacy is not leaving something for people. It's leaving something in people. That has been our show. I hope that it was a good one for you. And of course, I told you these quotes, they helped me. It helps me want to go out right now and do something that hopefully will impact somebody today. And that's another word for you. How can you impact someone's life with a simple gesture or something you've done so it can carry on and hopefully be done again? Maybe you're starting your own uh, absolutely positivity. I would love that. So, but anyway, as always, wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you say, make sure that you do it uniquely because you're wonderfully made, but do it absolutely positively this is our show. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking. But if you need that again, go to Mute Mogul Media to subscribe and like and pass it forward. Maybe you can leave this something in someone's <laughs> inbox or share it on social media. We would appreciate it if you do. But remember, this has been our show again. Thank you for joining Absolutely Positively. I'm your girl, Billy Kay. See you next week. Take care.